ready, guys. Hello, y'all. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to YouTube land. How you guys doing tonight? I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody had a great day. And you know, it's our loving hip hop Atlanta. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. Woo! Yes. We done started our season out loving hip hop Atlanta. Yeah! This is the life. This is the life. This is the life. This is the life. All right. We're going to kick this review off and we're going to start it off with me, with me, uh, me, me. And Mimi is talking mad, 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 mad shit, you know. She's sitting there chopping it up with Stevie J. And uh, she's like, you know, I want you to know I'm starting off this management company. It's MSM, uh, MS Management. I guess that's for Mimi and Stevie J. Then it kind of went into business together. And they got this girl, Tiffany Fox, that they supposed to be signing. And uh, Mimi want um, Stevie to take a listen to her, whatever, whatnot. But uh, Mimi sitting there chopping it up. She's like, you know, where's that motherfucking Jocelyn at? You know, she said, where the bitch at? Where she at? In jail? In a zoo? You know, where your girl at? You know, you've been hanging out a lot. You've been over here offering me your sperm, you know. I know my baby been talking about she want a little brother or a little sister. But do your wife know that you over here offering me your sperm? And, you know, Stevie J, he all relaxed and chilled and whatever, whatnot. You know, Mimi, you know, I got you. I got you. Whatever you want, I got it. You know, I'm here to look out for you, you know. You want to go in business together, you know, I'll be a consultant. I go in business with you. And, and they make it do what it do. And they chilling and they chillaxing. And he's supposed to be listening to the new girl, whatever, whatnot. And then we get into... um. <laughs> but let me let me hit on this right quick. Whenever Miss, we all know Jocelyn is missing, and uh, he says she's chilling in PR. So you know what that means. That means she's either suspended or um, yeah, that means she's suspended for a couple of shows, or she in rehab. <laughs> it is what it is, though. Okay. Hey man, I love my puta, Borica. Whatever, Porica, whatever. All right, we got to get my puta back on there because that bitch don't give a what? Oh, what? She don't give a fuck, okay? So anyway, we run into this new character, Miss Jessica Dime. Dime Peace. She's from uh, KOD in Miami. And uh, she's been there the last five years. So uh, she's like, oh, this is my last night of, of you know, doing it and you know and I'm getting ready and this is my last show and we got Don standing there and Carla Red with no storyline and uh, she Don telling uh Miss Don Peace that you know I got you I got you you know come on to ATL I have you making thirty thousand dollars a night you know so I guess Miss this new this Miss New Booty Don Peace or Miss Dime or whatever I got them name is she had tried to sign with Florida, but uh, she said it didn't work out. So Don them to convince her into um, coming that way and whatever, whatnot. So that means she's off and she's getting ready to join the cast of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Woo! Yes, yes. Let's keep it popping, y'all. Woo, 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 woo. We got some new characters. Woo! We don't have to be bothered with just Rashida and them lies. Alrighty, y'all. So now it hits to Mama motherfucking D. Mama D up in this motherfucker. They got her motherfucking, uh, what the fuck is that? A hat on? <laughs> a crown? They been sitting on her throne. She, she, she chillaxing. And, um... I guess she getting ready to go out and perform. I deserve. You deserve to be loved. We deserve. She sound like me. And if, if she can sing and get a fucking contract, hell, sign me up. I deserve. 
We deserve to be loved. So anyway, Erica shows up with some flowers and she say, hi, mama motherfucking D been getting along for a while. And Erica walks in and she's like, oh, she's been treating me the way I should have been treated. You know, I'm the, I'm the mother of her granddaughter and whatever, whatnot. And you got Bambi and Scrappy sitting out in the audience and he's sitting over there talking about, I hope they keep that bitch way over there and not nowhere near us. And uh, I see there's a little animosity and Miss Erica say, oh, I see he over there with his little animal. And I'm like, wow, what happened? I thought they was all getting along. So uh, Miss Mama motherfucking D come out and she do a little performance. And uh, basically uh, Scrappy gets heated. And uh, he say Erica going around spreading her little fairy tales, saying that he ain't paying child support. Well, my ninja, you behind 50 G's, 50 bands, 50 bands, not 10 bands, but 50 bands. So that means, you know, you ain't been paying no child support. So anyway, whatever, whatnot. I guess uh, <laughs> Mama D want to talk to Scrappy and ask him what's popping, you know, why you ain't taking care of the baby, you know. Oh, uh, Mama D, you know, Mama, I'll take care of mine, you know, she don't want for nothing. I'll go buy her whatever you need. This what I don't get, my ninjas. I don't care about y'all taking them to the store and buy them a pair of Jordans, buy them a motherfucking uh, coat or some slacks or a dress. They need food. They need a roof over their head. You got to get these motherfuckers to and from school. They got to eat every motherfucking day. Lunch money. You got to pay somebody to watch these motherfuckers. So you know what? Just because you take these kids out and you buy some, that don't mean you paying child support. Now, we do got a lot of slimy ass bitches around here to just sit around and wait for a motherfucker to get, you know, get them some money or that two, three hundred, four, five, six, seven, whatever you get per month to come in the mail. And they are paying car payments and whatever will not get in their hair, they nails did. And you know what, ladies? Shame on you. But the majority of them, give them the money. It ain't even worth the hassle, but let me keep it moving. Let me keep it moving. Let me keep it moving. So anyway, Rashida, she meets up with the girls, Rashida, Mimi, Erica, and Carly Word, Carly Red, they uh, meet up for a sip and paint, and they want to know what's been going on in everybody's life, you know, and uh, Erica say the scrappy behind 50, 50 bands, Rashida's talking about Kirk signing this new girl named Ashley, and um, let me see what's going on in the other two hoes' life. Ain't, ain't much, ain't much. I see they really ain't even featuring Bambi on this motherfucker neither. Y'all checking that shit out? Woo, 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 woo. Miss Mama motherfucking D say, Bambi must got a motherfucking hooves up in my baby. That's the only reason why he ain't paying no child support. <laughs> I had to get that in. Anyway, we get up, we meet up with Miko. Miko the Frico. And uh, he meets up with this supposedly wife margo she they in new york and he's basically asking her to move to atl and telling her he love her so you know what that mean that mean that's another motherfucker that's another new character heading to atlanta and we're gonna have another new character named margo margo and this bitch is supposedly a model and a singer and whatever else you know dealing with old freaky nico no matter, you don't know what the fuck they might be up to, shit. So, uh, the wife is talking about, oh, I don't know anybody there, whatever, whatnot. Nico is begging her to move, so that means she's coming. So, um, Stevie, he wild now. He's supposed to be at the listening party that Mimi, Mimi, Mimi set up for uh, this Tiffany Fox girl. And the girls are sitting there. She got me, um, Stevie J sitting up there. And this motherfucker up there getting wasted, getting blazed off some motherfucking juice, right? So he can't even uh, listen to the girl perform because this motherfucker so fucked up, he can't pay attention. So um, anyway, we got Don... And um, Mimi, I guess Don is uh, Mimi's uh, motherfucking, uh, I don't know, uh, what you call it, P uh, PR, I don't know. Don is helping Mimi do whatever she's doing. She's treating her like, hey, man, she's an author, she uh, wrote the book, she's modeling, 
She supposed to have this management company. She don't forget, number one of all, she's a stripper. Sorry, she's a porno star. So uh, Dawn is letting her know, you know, bitch, I got you doing this, that, and the other. And I guess she's trying to convince that dime piece bitch that I can get you out there and have you on and popping too. So anyway, it goes back to Mimi and uh, Stevie J cutting it up. And uh, Mimi, she always on 10. That bitch be on 10. And uh, what's going on with you? You know, you done failed some uh, drug tests out here. You using, you drinking. What, what's popping? What's popping? And he's like, oh, I done failed a couple of drug tests, you know. And uh, she's like, where that bitch at? Where is that bitch? Where is that animal? She talking about Jocelyn. Is she in jail? Is she in the zoo? You know, Mimi on 10 at all motherfucking time. Where that bitch at? Where that bitch at? You know, so anyway, make a long story short. Mimi tells uh, Stevie J that Miko is, that, look, <laughs> what he called him, he said uh, the slime bucket or the slime, the swamp thing, the swamp thing then reappeared. And of course he has, he's reappeared and he's telling Mimi he want 25% of that book. Because he helped get it going. So, Stevie J decides he's going to meet with uh, Miko, uh, Nico, Frico, whatever the fuck that motherfucker name is. And he's letting him know, man, you're not going to get nothing else from uh, Mimi. You've been eating off of her for two motherfucking years. What is it, nigga? Ninja. You can't do your own motherfucking thing. And uh, they, you know, crosswords and whatever, whatnot. And before you know it, Stevie goes in for him and they get to fighting and, you know... Here come the bodyguards. They show up. But um, it is what it is, you know. This is Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. It was a lot of things going on. A lot of notes I took, but I don't want to hit on all that because, you know, my time is getting too long. And like I said, I'm too mature to go on that long in these vlogs. But next week looks good, guys. Woo! And I see they doing an after party every Monday after the show. Hi. This is the life. This is the life. This is the life. This is the life. All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Tiki underscore 44. And you guys have a blessed night. Peace. Love and hip hop and lenta.